Thank you, dear colleagues. Um, let us remember that uh, the proposed Digital Services Act, this reform of EU online platform regulation, is about our digital habitat, so about our everyday use of uh, modern technologies. And the Commission plans to, to replace the e-commerce directive by, by this new Digital Services Act. And according to the information that we've been able to see so far, they are considering to update the scope, which means to include a, a maximum of digital services, including ISPs, uh, social networks, advertising, etc. Um, they are considering to have a stricter liability regime, um, such as the one that was used in the controversial copyright reform and also um, proposed for the terrorism content regulation. Um, there is talk to have automated filters be transparent and accountable, which would mean to have them, uh, to have automated filtering. And um, there is talk of cooperation with public authorities by facilitating access to personal data. And um, last but not least, they are considering to implement a public body which would oversee and enforce the application of the law for the first time. So looking at these ideas, the worst outcome would be that uh, these plans make online platforms act as an internet police or internet censor and incentivize error-prone upload filters which would violate the fundamental right to free speech. Also, unrealistic timeframes for removing illegal content could existentially threaten small and medium-sized businesses and non-commercial services, and uh, governments uh, spying on our online activities could put the confidentiality of our most intimate uh, passions and, and weaknesses that we expose online at risk. In the best case, however, and this is what we need to, to target, um, badly drafted national legislation, such as we find in Germany and France, could be replaced by a European regime that protects free speech online better. Um, messaging services and social networks could be interconnected, thereby enhancing competition and user choice. The right to use internet services anonymously that is so far only protected at national level in some member states could be protected at the level of the EU. And um, freedom of speech, consumer choice, the right to privacy, the principles of a global internet, all that needs to be at the heart of any digital services regulation because, as I said at the outset, it's about our digital habitat. That's why the internet community is watching us very carefully concerning this uh, regulation. And one of the most controversial discussions is around hate speech, and we need to decide what is the right approach to address these unethical uses of um, the internet. I think what's important is to have to improve law enforcement, for example, by notification um, of authorities to be able to uh, prosecute hate crime. Um, but also non-legislative measures like uh, supporting victims or supporting counter-speech initiatives uh, would be helpful in that area. So let's discuss in the context of both Timo Wolken's report and also our opinions on the other committee's reports, which we will also draft, um, how to shape the digital future to respect fundamental rights, um, such as freedom of speech, consumer choice, and the right to privacy, and make sure that um, ethical guidelines apply to the internet, which are in line with our fundamental values and principles. Thank you.